Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Teachings from the Sea with me, Matt, and the sea. Um, today's topic is about change. And um, it was a bit more specific to you get a job, you get into it, um, and then you need to change from it, and then you change, and then you get another job, and then you change for it. And so when does the whole process of being content come in? And it's a tough one, because um, it's tough in the sense that do we want to get do we want to be content maybe maybe not I don't know again this is not about a correct answer but instead just looking at what change is the first thing about change is everything changes and nothing stays the same and so what I did to do that is, is um, I'm here in the evening so as the sun sets I'm here and there's my son he's gonna come and start taking on the water as we're exploring this thing called change. So I made my world uncomfortable because I changed something so rather than doing what I normally do, which is film in the morning and then just play around in the evening if I do come down to a sea. I decided, you know what, it's one about change. So let's explore change by changing my own pattern, my own routine. But I was in charge of that change, but it still feels uncomfortable and that's fine because you get used to the uncomfortable becoming comfortable. So you become comfortable with the unknown which is essentially what change is, is you're moving from a place that you know to a place that you don't know. The other changes is that, so the teaching from the sea, if you like, is um, much more basic. The sea is never the same. Anyone who gets into sea swimming, open water swimming, um, sailing, spending time in the ocean, she is never ever the same. Always throws a few changes in there. Temperature, um, buoyancy, um, but there he is, he's running up the, the shores. Because this one, she's, she's out to eat you. She's in high, rather than low. It could be missed out, it could be a sunny day, it could be a cold day, it could be a rainy day. Everything has an impact on the sea. And that will then change your experience of your experience. The experience that you're having whilst at sea. So the fact that nature in its very essence is always changing. What it does is, is rather than being content with things staying the same, it becomes content with the process of change. It becomes content with the, the movement of the cycles of the seasons, for example. The day, the moon cycle, so on and so forth. So there's constant. <laughs> That's it, buddy, give it a go! So there's constants and there's, there's structures, there's known elements. Like you know that the tide is gonna be more dramatic during the moon phases of either the new moon or the full moon and you know that it's going to be a bit more steady either side of that um, but how they still express themselves is changeable and different things will happen so again back to that question about change and jobs and so on and so forth is if you're meant to be somewhere you'll stay there in its simplest of forms, you will be there. You will be there for as long as... Oi, good lad! He's edging in. Um, you will be there for as long as you need to be there um, in, in order to learn whatever it is that you're there to learn. And then when the time's right... I'm coming, buddy! Change will occur. Um, and you might need to be there for 40 years. I don't know. You might only need to be there for four days. In my life, I've had some contracts that have lasted a week maybe. I've had one job where it's just one day and then I've had another one where it's a couple of years and then I'm slowly starting to build my very own career whereby which is my lifestyle essentially and looking at how that all fits into essentially living and life and work and balance and going on with this change malarkey and as I say becoming ridiculously okay with the whole process of change and that's kind of why I wanted to film it at the sea as well this is I didn't want to be in control I wanted to actually explore my own adaptability to stay centered as things happen dogs running into the sea going and grabbing balls young men wanting to take on the ocean it's becoming adaptable to that changing world that's always changing beyond our control and I suppose the greatest element of control that we have is to again move and flow and unfold with that, that change to not force it to be anything other than what it is we can influence it absolutely 
we're not powerless. That's what empowerment is. is that you can empower yourself to take part in the unfolding mystery of life, if you like. But the next thing is, is sometimes we lose some things that we want to hold on to. So this takes us on to another place. We all suffer. So when change happens, we might not get what we want. And so we suffer because we don't get what we want. We wanted it to uh, be something different. Then, when change happens, sometimes we get exactly what we wanted, but we suffer again because we can't hold on to it. Because again, it's going to be subject to change. So it's going to come in and go out. So the key here is, is um, essentially, is non-attachment. I've got to go under a sec. And the, the less attached we are to either the outcome or the process, the freer we are to take part in its unfolding. So that's my take on change. I know there's another guy just going for it, having a good swim. So it's, it's about unbinding yourself, I suppose, to any strict thing that says you must do something a certain way or be something other than what you are, which is being. So, um, yeah, that's, that's as I say, with, um, that's what's coming up for me as I float here in the sea and watch my little man try and run into the sea. Here he comes again for another run. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and that's his bare body as the waves rush him up away from the, um, the shoreline so um, thank you all very very much for, for joining me on this um, sea adventure and this next teaching from the sea so as I say the sea changes she's always changing, she makes no apologies for her change as well by the way, she never turns around and says, oh by the way I'm sorry I was cold <laughs> she just turns around and says this is who I am today and this is who I am today Take it or leave it. And I suppose that creates the strength of character. This is who I am. And um, as I said, when we discover who we are, we sometimes lose what we thought we were and something else replaces it. And sometimes we're not sure about that thing that replaces it. It makes us feel uncomfortable and we're like, ah, I've got things to learn about me. Do it, learn, dive in. <laughs> he's gonna, one day he's gonna dive in. But at the moment, he's taking a cautious approach, which is, fantastic um, and so yeah so more questions this one was on change and um, contentment and I suppose in its simplest forms is let's be content with change <laughs> nothing lasts forever everything comes and goes constant state of flux all that jazz and I tell you what when you free yourself from having to hold on to any other notion than and freedom, just freeing yourself to kind of experience it, not holding on to the experience and, or experience and hoping it to be anything other than what it is. <laughs> the magic begins, the jazz begins. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna now go and join my son, see if I can get him a little bit further into the sea. And uh, wish all you awesome people an amazing evening. From me and the sea. <laughs> have a great evening sunset and don't forget to ask more questions anything ask away and I will happily give my take on it and tie in something from what I've learned from being out here in the sea every morning well most mornings just flying around, playing around, and just uh, the unfolding mystery that is. Okay, so as I say, have a great evening. That's all from me and this little crazy wild child. <laughs>